What's going on YouTube and fellow junk haulers? Corey with Junk Boss here. So today we're gonna take this 16 foot trailer over to the guy that I know. Uh, he's a welder, he's gonna weld this side gate shut for me. He's gonna go ahead and cut out a notch on the back to make it easier when I replace the wood. And then once we get the wood in place, I'm gonna take it back over there. He's gonna weld that plate back. We're gonna paint over it and this trailer's gonna be good as new. So let's go. If you burn your eyes at about 12 o'clock tonight, you'll be screaming. So right now it is 6.30 in the morning. I've got the truck warming up. I've got the trailer hooked up. Yesterday we got a message from a realtor around here named Jeff Jones. And he's got a house that has some items that need cleared out. So thankfully the house is already mostly cleared out and I'm just getting the leftover items. But at one o'clock today, they're doing photos for a listing. So we're gonna get over here, get all this stuff out. All right, YouTube, I'm here with Jeff Jones, the coolest realtor in Mobile, if not America. That, that's, up, <laughs> that's up for debate. But I'm gonna let him introduce himself. He's got a YouTube channel and we just finished cleaning out this house. 
Yeah, this house is going live uh, on the MLS tomorrow, actually. Um, so it's gonna, you know, it's gonna sell really quickly, and then I'm gonna make a YouTube uh, video about it, about the area. And so Corey, my man, is helping clean it out. But if you want to check out, you can go to Living in Mobile. That's my channel, and I'm posting about all things Mobile. So we are all done at this house. So there was a bunch of just miscellaneous silverware and china and just all sorts of stuff in this room. Some big furniture. Got all that stuff moved out. This room didn't have any furniture in it. We had a lot of kind of like silverware and glassware up in this cabinet that we got rid of. The kitchen had a bunch of glassware over on this counter, a bunch on the other side of this microwave. So we just got it all in a trash can, busted up and saved some room. Stuff was on this counter. This whole corner was full of picture frames, and miscellaneous cookware. Uh, actually got me a cast iron skillet from there, guys. So heck yeah, junk removal. All right, and this one has some picture frames and some random stuff along this wall, bunch of miscellaneous items in here. Everything is cleared out. We are all done here, so we're gonna lock up and get on to the next one. So here's the outside of this house. It's actually a really nice house. It's just outdated, could use a good remodel, but plenty of space, good looking house from the outside. But what we're here for is everything that came out of it. Now it wasn't completely full. It was already cleaned out and this is just what was left, but Got like a couch, some chairs, miscellaneous items that I actually think I can resell. But a lot of this stuff is gonna go to the landfill. And even got a good bit of scrap metal out of here. So check all this stuff out, guys. All this is scrap metal from this job. You know, a lot of this nice looking silver stuff uh, is 729 or 769, something like that. I don't even know what that is. I know 999 silver is where it's at. So this is probably not value, but I'm still gonna sort through it. Uh, if it doesn't look like anything worth a crap, I'm just going to scrap it. So, cool find though. This is, this is a fireplace cover and it actually folds in together. So, that's actually really cool. So, I'm probably going to post that online and see if I can sell that. Um, maybe even just try to sell all this stuff. All right. Since we just left that job, a lot of you guys have been asking me what it's like to start a junk removal business while holding a full time job. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it's not easy, you know. I, mean, I work a full-time job plus weekend nights at a bar so i'm even busier than just somebody with just a job especially with my sleep schedule on the weekends but i will say though it is a lot of work it is very well worth it uh, i do not recommend you quit your full-time job while you're trying to start this business one thing that i've done that's been very successful for me you know of course i'm still in my infant stage still growing getting my name out there Excuse all that, some stuff rattling around from that job. Um, is I've used my full-time job income to continue paying my bills and you know going out and doing things to where junk boss money, what I profit from junk boss strictly goes to junk boss. So when I first started, my first couple of months was very busy, you know, as, as busy as I could allow it to be while still working my schedules. Um, and I use that money to buy stuff like chainsaws and weed eater and, you know, other tools and items like my hand truck and a big trash can, all sorts of stuff. Um, so it's just going to grow and, you know, I got another trailer and all that. So I'm using my full time to pay my bills, junk balls to grow junk balls to get all the stuff I need. So that way when the time comes for me to quit my job, I don't really have many expenses other than your standard just dump fees and gas and truck maintenance and insurance stuff. You know, I don't have to buy equipment for Junk Boss uh, until the time comes when I need to get an extra truck or a dump trailer, but that will be down the road. So if you guys are working a full-time job, definitely um, hang on to it. You know, the biggest downfall is the fact that I work early mornings when I'm available. Like this morning, I woke up at six o'clock. Man, this thing's annoying. Woke up at six o'clock, met uh, Jeff at seven at the house. And you know, now I'm going home with just enough time to park the trailer. I don't even have time to go to the dump. Park the trailer, hop in the shower, get ready for work, and then either dump the trailer on my lunch break or go tomorrow morning to the landfill. So, you know, I work a lot of early mornings. I've done some jobs late in the evening after 7 p.m. when I'm off of work. Uh, I've spent all my days off early on doing bigger junk removal jobs. So, you know, I really have had no days off early on until slow season this year. 
Um, so hopefully this year will be my year to scale Junk Pulse. I'm gonna continue the advertising I've been doing and I'm gonna scale it up even more. I've even got a connection to a radio DJ with 11 channels in the area. Um, so I've got a price worked out on that. Might even start doing that uh, advertising soon. But before I do anything like that, I would love to not be working so much so that way I can actually have more time to land these jobs so I'm not wasting money on advertising. But uh, 2022 is going to be the year of the junk boss, you guys. And, you know, if you guys have any other questions about working full time, uh, how I manage to do this in my spare time, uh, just anything else you guys want to know, anything else you guys want to see, leave it in the comments below. But I want to thank you guys for watching these videos. Please subscribe to my channel, like the videos, share them with other junk haulers that you know. And I will see you guys in the next one.